So, earlier this week I saw a um, picture tutorial on Pinterest on how to make these little cute butterflies using ribbon. So I had a thought and it worked and I played around with some really thin canvas and some slightly thicker canvas, the faux leather type material. And I've actually worked out how to make it in those with a complete no sew. So I'm going to show you how to make them. And like I said, look how cute they are. You do need some practice getting your wings even, but they're not too complicated and all it involves is drawing a square basically. So there's a little, let's get my ruler, a little two by three inch version. And then I've done the bigger three by four inch version. And this one's made just by cutting a three inch uh, square. And this one's made just by cutting a, a four inch square. So I've got it all drawn out. I like to be all organised so you're not watching me for ages. And as you can see, this is my four by four square. So four inches by four inches. And what I've done is I've drawn a drawn line directly across to make the big triangle for the top piece. And then I've put dots all the way across on one side and a straight line on this because this piece is going to be the bottom half of the butterfly and this is going to be the top part of the butterfly and this is blank space but it just makes the, the triangles more even when we cut them and I put the dots on both pieces like so as you can see in the picture I'll just bring it a little bit closer it's just to help you when you're lining up so it keeps the wings even without them slipping to one side or the other so just need to cut this out Try and keep your scissors as straight as possible so you're not cutting, so you're cutting as evenly as you can. Like I said, the better you are at freehand cutting, the better your overall results will be. And then straight down the centre. And I cut directly on the pencil. That a little bit so the pants mark gone. There we go. Leave that. And then we'll just need to cut this here. There we go. So we don't need that bit, so we can put that to one side. We've now got our two triangles. And we fold both of them in half like so. And if you've got any like access or anything like that, trim that down a little bit, make them as even as you can get the triangles. Okay, so you've got this. And we'll start with the smaller piece. Well, we'll start with the larger piece first because it's easier to see the creases. So nicely folded in half. Okay. And then what I do is that triangle needs to go right on the middle of our dots that show us the centre there. Hold your thumb and finger here, that's the centre. And I like to check that my wings are even by folding it on half again like this. Pinch your thumb there, bring that back and fold down and you want your tip to rest him back in that centre. So you get this one side and then we repeat the other side. Fold back against that original crease there and then fold back down. So you get this on the back and these three pinches on the front and then you can curve your wings like so, so you get your nice shape and I temporarily use a little clip to hold this in place while we do the the bottom wings, okay? So there's one piece, back, front, that's top of the wings. We're going to repeat the exact same thing with our smaller piece. 
So you fold it in half, take your tip to the line that we've done there, make sure our wings are even from there, back and down right on the dots, back push that directly down back onto that crease line so you get that so you've got your three pinches on there as well and again manipulate your wings so you get curves okay so what you do now is hold that like so nice and tight and then you want them so that they're sat like this. Press that together like that. Move your clip out of the way. Okay. And the reason that I wrap these instead of gluing as well is because if the wings go off centre, we can sort of manipulate them around until we put our middles on. So I've got some extra strength thread here. And I've cut a piece off my roll already. And you just wrap it round, you see? Right, so wrap it round a couple of times and then manipulate your wings until you're certain. As you can see, quite centred there, so I'll just move that a little. There we go, that's better. That's all as centred as we can make it. So like I said, once you're happy with where, where everything's sat, wrap round a couple more times. Like so, nice and tight. This is the reason we use the extra strength thread. And then we can tie off a couple of times in the back to secure that. Okay, nice and tight. And again, and then we can cut off that excess thread. We'll use that for another make later on. Pop my clip out of the way. So there's our butterfly at the moment. And from our excess, which I cut out of one of the triangles earlier, so this little bit of extra triangle we've got, you can cut a little piece. And I do roughly. half a centimetre wide and you need roughly five to six centimetres to be able to wrap nicely without struggling too much and on these ones because they're not very wide at this point I have been using my little teeny tiny 32 mil clips because anything bigger than that uh, doesn't work you could do a five by five one and you could probably get away with a 40 or 42 or 45 but you might struggle so like i said the smaller the clips that you've got the better and obviously this one's already pre-lined so just a drop of glue and i'll clip right on the back of our little butterfly there and we're just going to put a touch of glue on our canvas. I really must invest in an invisible ink pen. I don't have one currently, that's why I use pencil. But with pencil, I always have a rubber nearby, so if I can still see any of my lines when I'm done, you can rub them out. So rub that round your centre like so and I do have some flower stems somewhere so I could add some antennae if you really wanted to but I think they look cute like this okay touch the glue there open your clip back up there we go
And there you go. Cute little little butterflies. Like I said, some four by two inch ones. Like I said, did it in the slightly thinner ones. And then the little tiny three inch by one inch and like I said you can make them in all sizes you just cut your rectangle bigger or smaller depending on what size you want to do and draw as I did at the beginning of the the video and like I said thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed that and you've learnt how to make a new little freehand faux leather style bow and if you need any more help with anything um, I've got my page and my um, group linked below like I said feel free to ask me any questions and I love seeing any makes that you make from the tutorials Thanks, bye.